Hello, my beautiful astrology friends, and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of May 25th. And let me just tell you guys, going into the recording of the, um, the weekly for this coming week, I've just finished um, Norwalk, which if you've never seen Norwalk, you don't know anything about it. It's a very big um, astrological conference that happens. It's a full weekend of just information, community, collaboration, and I am just, I've been all natural all weekend and just in the information, in the learning, just, oh, my heart coming into this week is so full and I have so much gratitude for the privilege of your time and your attention and just wanting to share with you that on this side, joining with other professionals, joining with other astrology learners and, and avid people who want to teach and better themselves, coming into this week and the um, energies that we all have available, I'm just feeling so ready to give to you guys this week. So I'm excited. There's lots coming on the channel. It's a beautiful week. We're on Tuesday. We've got Rick Levine coming over. Um, we also have Maurice Fernandez coming. Arlen Weiss will be around. Spencer Michaud is coming. There's just, we've got a lineup of topics. So make sure you check out the community tab to see who's coming over and when. And I hope you will join us live. Okay. All right, now the big things that I've really focused in on for this week are the fact that we've got the moon and Mars coming into this really nice trine and off of the weekend of all of this energy and this just willingness, I love this particular energy. It's very moon, it's very home, it's very um, emotional, it's an emotional bodied energy. But then we're also going to have Mercury moving into the energy of Cancer this week. And again, this kind of beefs up that emotional expression or that willingness to express our emotions, our needs, our desires all of this good kind of stuff. So let's talk about that. Coming up just right away on Monday on the 25th, we've got the moon forming this trine with Mars. Now, I love this because I feel like it's a very courageous energy. This is the time where you feel comfortable to say what you need. Um, this is a time where you feel like you, you have the courage to really initiate something, right? To initiate something new and it comes from the inside out. It's an absolutely lovely energy and I think that this is a time when the moon trines Mars like this. If you need to be assertive, this is a wonderful energy to step up, be assertive, step in, ask what you need, um, share right? Even if this is a time where we're rolling into Monday and you've been feeling a little bit held back, like, yeah, I kind of want to do this thing or I want to share this thing or I want to teach this thing. This is the time. Step into it. Talk about it. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for the message that you have and move that forward into the week. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, and just the energy that Mars has here to offer some um, initiation, I really like this combination of energy. It's very watery. It's very dreamy. As well, because Monday in the United States is Memorial Day, I do want to just take a minute in remembrance of all the people who have served so thank you so much that's more so veterans day to thank them but we're thanking the people who've transitioned over so in this watery energy i think we see that there was a vast amount of courage available here now one of the things i did get asked last week that i want to address as well is what if you have a particular placement that's happening in the week in your chart? So if you have moon, trine, Mars in your chart, this is actually a really blessed position, I think. I tend to believe that. I think at a very intimate level, you are more connected to sharing what you need or moving in the direction of getting what you need, right? Emotional expression is going to be very, very important for you, and it may drive a lot of what you do. It may drive you emotionally, and then you're able to put the action um, into place. So if that's a placement that you do have natally, that may be what this looks like as well. Now, when we get to Thursday, the 28th, we're going to see Mercury moving out of the energy of Gemini, where he's been at home and comfortable and kind of sped up and doing his thing. And he's moving into the energy of Cancer, where he's in the state that we call Peregrine, which means he's fine. He's hanging out. He's not completely exalted. He hasn't lost power. He's just over in the energy of Cancer. So what's going to happen is our communications are going to become a little bit more emotional. And this is where I love the combination of emotional intelligence, right? How are you showing up? How are you speaking your emotional needs into a way that other people can catch on to what you're saying as well. The emotional intelligence here is brilliant. How are you understanding your own emotional and psychological needs? Now, because this is a watery energy, I think we do step into the realm of being able to trust our intuition and maybe perception is a little bit different. Certainly, it brings this idea of home 
What do you need for home to be safe? What do you need to communicate for home, your home, your emotional foundation, your psychological foundation? What do you need here and how do you need to share that in terms of communication? As well, just the physical home. Could this bring an energy of parents or maybe you're thinking about home or your own parenting to the table that could really be, you know, this is something you're starting to focus on. Now, Mercury is going to be turning retrograde um, in the energy of Cancer as well. So it's a much more sensitive sensitive time for us and he's going to be here for just a little bit so we're going to see this energy of a mercury cancerian connection and communications all the way until august so kind of get comfy in this energy and you don't have to run out and express everything you need or figure out all your emotional intelligence today remember energies are gradual so you've got kind of this three weeks to ease in here and figure out what you need, how to communicate these things, and decisions that you need to make, right? Mercury is still direct at this point, and he wants to make some decisions. He's going to come into shadow time on the 2nd, so just next week. But you can also start to pay attention to where you're getting these inklings or this intuition of, like, emotionally, I'm not being fed here, or emotionally, what do I need to do to... Um, recreate the curiosity of my enthusiasm? Where do I want to explore here, right? Now, I will share with you, Every placement has a positive, has a, has a negative, or has, because really energies are neutral, but they can go two kind of different ways. If you're finding while Mercury is here in Cancer that you're being a little bit more passive aggressive, or people are being passive aggressive, and there's that kind of communication, or there's silence, this is a wonderful energy that Gary Caton talked about when we talked about Mercury in retrograde, to listen for what's not being said. Pay attention to the body language of yourself and other people, or is somebody in a protective stance when you're talking to them about something? Thing. Or are you talking with somebody and all of a sudden they stop saying things, right? Pay attention to the words that are not being said here as well and use that emotional body, that emotional intelligence and that intuition and perception to kind of feel out and discern what's happening in the world around you. All right, you guys, I think it's going to be a beautiful week. It's certainly going to be a week where I think we feel the shift in how we begin to communicate and we're maybe a little bit more aware of things around us just because the emotional body gets heightened. But I hope that there's lots of good that comes for you or lots of revelation that comes for you this week, certainly around anything happening in your home, your home life, and if home here is what you're dealing with as well. Please let me know how this is manifesting for you this week in the comment section down below. If you want to see what's happening a little bit more day-to-day, -day, you can always follow me on Instagram or Facebook where I've got more day-to-day -day happenings happening over there. And of course, join us this week as Rick Levine comes over, Master Astrologer, to teach us about transits and to talk with us and to just spend some time on the Stormy Grace community and channel. So I look forward to welcoming you guys to that eat and greet and to everything else that's happening this week. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye everyone.